Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I think it's today. It's a very good time to make a video about how to dispose your waste chemicals and uh, uh, it's a very big problem with the gold refining it's uh, what you do with uh, your waste asset I got a lot of comment about this and uh, people ask uh, to know how you deal with uh, your toxic waste but uh, always when you answer to people what you do with, with this always uh, you will find that uh, some people is not never is uh, never satisfied with your answer and uh, you always uh, find the haters uh, tro the trolls so today I will make a full video about how I dispose uh, my acid uh, concrete this is a uh, this barrel is uh, my waste Aqua Regia. Uh, this this solution first be in the stock pot a uh, couple of months and I remove all the gold. So now it's just waste and it got a lot of dirt, dirty solution inside. So for the first we will first step is uh, to remove some copper and uh, in that purpose we have that iron pipes. So we're gonna do first is we just put some pipes inside it's actually never mind and we'll leave that for a couple of days uh, I think it's been enough a couple of days and uh, after this, the solution should be like this. So, from this is already removed all copper, and uh, we do that with the metal pipe. So now, in the solution is iron, mostly iron, but he still have some uh, other metal like a tin, lead, or something else. Uh, now uh, you can remove one of option is uh, to remove all the if you wanna return all the other metal you can do that with the aluminum foils uh, put inside the foils and uh, you will get your other metal but uh, it's actually uh, you need a lot that foils so it's better to sell aluminum uh, than uh, cement that other metal which is not high price uh, so okay the next step is uh, maybe better better step is uh, to add some baking soda I mean a lot of baking soda just add the baking soda until no more reaction and in that way you already we already before that denox all the nitric acid but now with the baking soda we were denox uh, HCl and other acid So after that step, you are free uh, to dispose that solution in the nature. Uh, it's still toxic, but uh, in the very, very, very small amount. Uh, in the other form, when you contain a copper, but when you replace copper with iron, it's not that toxic anymore. It's just, uh, much safer, and you are free after denox. You are free to dispose that in the nature, but. If you got a better solution, like me, I uh, stockpile that, I stock that uh, solution in the empty bottles or containers or everything else. Uh, plastic is is good because uh, that all that acid is not active anymore. Uh, so in this bottle I got all that waste from my one batch solution and uh, when I got pretty big amount of that uh, waste I just uh, bring to the next city 
put in the car and bring that to the next uh, near city when uh, uh, when we got uh, one junkyard uh, and that uh, particular junkyard is actually deal uh, with the people's e-waste, toxic waste and uh, every waste uh, which is which can uh, harm nature so the best stuff is uh, you don't need any paper you just go and uh, I put that bottle in the bag and uh, I just go and uh, bring that to to that uh, junkyard gates and uh, I left them I left that bags on a front yard and after that uh, the employees on the junkyard take that waste and uh, I actually I'm not familiar uh, how, how they treatment after that with that waste but I think it's good it's uh, they got uh, very good ways so in this way I will actually not any uh, I will not uh, spill anything in the nature okay guys uh, this little 5 liter canister is uh, very useful for uh, for uh, piling that uh, acid because uh, uh, I uh, get him with a uh, distillated water. This is uh, from distillated water. I use a lot of demi water, and uh, after that, I just put acid inside. And uh, when I got a lot of that acid, I just go to the junkyard, bring that, bring that acid to to the junkyard. And after that, the people on the junkyard deal with that acid after me and uh, easy to show see that see that All this pure pop. Here in this bucket, I got some copper. See that? Which I already collect, and uh, now this is uh, just a water batch. See that? I just wash right now that. After I wash that, I uh, put that on a dry, and uh, after. All that process you will get these see that this is pure copper which is cement from the uh, solution like AP or aquaridria or uh, waste nitric acid so here in this bag I got maybe a uh, four kilogram and uh, I got one bag in the porch. Okay guys, what I found, uh, it's one of the best material for cementing.
all that copper is actually a computer scrap. See that? See how copper, after a couple of minutes, start to catch? So I use a lot of computer scrap. I just let them until the job is finished. But if you like prefer to use aluminum foil like some people do, I, I don't like that because uh, you just replace one toxic metal in the one form of toxic metal uh, with another form because uh, aluminum uh, is uh, just for uh, one step a little less toxic than copper in the solution. So if you want, but I don't know what you do and uh, if you use aluminium you will get these this is a uh, for a couple of years when I start and I use in the beginning some aluminium I got here some heatsink but uh, this is you see that all that mix is not uh, red it's not pure like this one in the bag because uh, this contain not just copper it's contain a uh, tin and lead and uh, aluminium and uh, iron and uh, coal and everything here so when I melt these this is not be pure like uh, that from the back that copper from the back so probably we'll go to the second class copper copper 2 but if you use aluminium you will get this junk